guys, it's Kelly Lenavola here and I'm back with another video for W Plus 9. Today we're going to be using the Happy Gang stamp set and the Bold Banner Greetings. So I am a colorist and I love all things outline. However, I could not just I could not use these adorable little animals. So we're going to be doing some um, stamping today with lots of different colors. All of the uh, inks and everything will be listed um, below in YouTube and then also on the W plus nine uh, blog. So if you'd like to see what the color inks I use, you can go there in case I don't mention them all. So I'm going to start with the sea breeze and the solid banner and I'm stamping it just big enough to hold my greeting. I'm not going to mask anything here. I'm just going to do straight stamping, um, which is, it's a really soft and pretty way to make a card. So I'm using the silver lining to stamp the little puppy dog. He's totally adorable, just completely stole my heart. I couldn't not use him. And each animal in the stamp set, um, there's a dog and a cat, I know there's a little mouse. They all have their own sets of eyes and noses and they're super easy to line up. I'm terrible at lining up stamps and I can line them up. So that's how I know it's totally simple. And then they also have these, um, balloons in there and they have balloons that spell out happy and a bunch of little sentiments that go with that but then they also have this one solid balloon like I said I'm not masking anything I wanted the ink colors to be on top of each other um, this is sweet gelato and I'm moving on to hayride I, I want them to have the look of transparency and you're only going to have that if all of the colors kind of intermingle once I had them all stamped down and then I also stamped my sentiment and I just used the uh, black W plus nine pure black ink. Um, I'm going to start drawing in the balloon strings. There are balloon strings that are included in the set, but I wanted this little group of balloons to be tied to his little tail. So I just thought it was easier to draw it myself. When you're doing the strings for the balloons, just make sure you pick whichever ones are going to be um, in the front, whichever ones are forward will have the strings over the balloons in the back. I'm also outlining all of my no outline stamps. This is because I have a problem with matching my black. And so because I stamped the black, <laughs> the sentiment in black, and then also his eyes and his nose, I had to match them and I couldn't stop myself. So I'm just kind of outlining everything with a um, Copic Safe. This is an EK Success journaling pen. I didn't do really any Copic coloring uh, except for on the dog. A C3 is like a dead match for the silver lining. So I'm doing the shading with a little bit of C5 and then I'm going to go back in with the C3 and just blend it out. It looks a little, um, I guess a little darker with it's just because of the moisture. Once everything dried down, it blended really, really well and I was happy with the way that it came out. So other than that, I didn't do any other... Um, I didn't use any other colors. We're gonna do some shadows and stuff, but still sticking with those same cool grays. I wanted this to look multi-dimensional, even though it's a one layer card. So I'm using full stick post-it notes and masking the part of my card so that I have a little border. And then I also cut uh, quarter inch strips and using the Simon grid mat, I just lined them up. I did every other block. And then I'm going to use the W plus nine inks that I used previously. This is shell pink I'm starting with. And then moving on to the sweet gelato, I went through every color that I used and I'm just using an ink blending tool to put them down. If you've never tried ink blending with these um, particular inks before, give it a try. They dry really just smooth and blend really well together. Uh, I always get really great results and just love that. So once I was done with that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the masks. And I always leave this part in the video because it's my favorite part. It feels like magic to me to remove all the masks and see, um, you know, what it looks like. It's a really soft border and it's very pretty. You could totally just leave it like this, but I have a problem with framing things in. Also, I really wanted it to look like it was two layers. So I'm going to use that same black pen and a T-square ruler to give it a black line. And then I'm going to go in and do some shading so that it looks like the white uh, stamped panel is kind of popping up above this little rainbow stripe in the background. So I'm using the C5. I'm just going right down next to that um, black line. And then I'm going to go in with the C3 and just do a little bit of feathering. And then finally the C1, I'll do the same thing to blend it all together. W plus nine inks are alcohol based. So they work really well with Copics. I didn't have any issues just coloring right over top of them. And then I'm going to use the C1 and the C3 to add just a little bit of a shadow 
to the banner. Um, the C1 blends pretty nicely into the white background and it just gives it a little something to make it pop off the page. Here, I mean, it's really just was a very simple card and I was still really happy with the way that it came out. Um, I'm going to do a little just details. I'm using the Jelly Roll uh, white gel pen to add a little highlights to his eyes and then also highlights to the balloons. And then I can't make anything without shimmer. So I'm using Clear Wink of Stella on the balloons. And then to make those colors kind of match, I used them on the colored stripes in the background as well. And then that's the whole card. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.